As factories, businesses, and people continued their flight out of the city, Detroit still relied on a single industry, even though new automation, decentralization, strikes, racial tensions, and the lack of leadership had halted progress. In 1950, Detroit's population topped 1.85 million. But in 2012, the city's population was just over 700,000. By the 1980s, blight had set in, and with an area of 139.1 square miles, Detroit could no longer afford to sustain itself. Amidst the tremendous loss of jobs, political corruption and scandals, emergency managers, the Great Recession, filing for bankruptcy, and making global headlines via ruin porn, a term used for the photo documentation of the city's decaying built environment and infrastructure, hope still blooms. The seeds of renewal have been planted in the urban farms, the people who work incrementally to change their neighborhoods, a new influx of people moving with hope to inspire change, and the new high-tech medical and design businesses choosing to call the city home. As the hard conversations and the tough work on the ground continue, many neighborhoods are slowly coming back to life. Belle Isle also felt the bite of blight during this time. Many of the historic buildings were falling into disrepair, much like so many across the city. In 1973, the Friends of Belle Isle was formed to help the island stay afloat. And they helped Belle Isle get designated as a National Historic District, listed both on the National and Michigan Historic Registers. Buildings on the island were torn down, some new were built, and restoration continued despite the loss of funds. Master plans were made. In the 1990s, the hydroplane races and the Grand Prix came to Belle Isle. Through it all, Belle Isle still remained a place where Detroiters went to escape and recreate. Today, despite its condition, Belle Isle is still considered one of the city's best assets and the newly formed Belle Isle Conservancy advocates for the island. It will fall to a new generation of Detroiters to care for the island and imbibe it with life for generations to come.